Well, Britain says it will extend its military presence in Eastern Europe in order to reaffirm its commitment to NATO reassurance efforts. Britain's Defense Secretary Michael Fallon said his country has to continue to back up NATO. He said the boost is necessary to, in response to what he called cyber rattling by Russian President, saber rattling rather, by um, Russian President Vladimir Putin. The secretary explained that the plan would include deployment of 1,000 extra troops in 2016 and 3,000 more in the year after. British Typhoon jets would also continue their Baltic states patrolling mission. NATO has been beefing up its military presence in the region since the start of the unrest in Ukraine back in 2014. Well, joining us now on the line from Los Angeles is uh, former U.S. congressional staffer, Mr. Rodney uh, Martin. Mr. Martin, please uh, give us your thoughts on these recent comments made by the British Defense Secretary, Michael Fallon, uh, stating that uh, um, Britain has a commitment to um, reaffirm uh, its commitments with NATO in response to Russian President Vladimir Putin's quote-unquote saber-rattling well, it's, it's, first of all, the, the, the Britain statements are, are laughable, and they're simply not credible. They're actions of an ever, ever increasingly irrelevant uh, empire. It's interesting that when President Putin defends his uh, geopolitical and ethno interests, uh, that's called saber-rattling, and when the United Kingdom and the United States engra uh, engages in uh, aggressive and offensive operations within the Russian geopolitical sphere of influence, that's called defense and spreading democracy. We need to understand that the West, namely Germany, uh, the United Kingdom, the United States, sponsored a coup and ousted a democratically elected president in Kiev simply because he, he wanted to pursue a relationship with Russia rather than, than uh, the European Union. and. We see a vassal state uh, created that is uh, designed to uh, 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 oppose and to destabilize the Russian Federation. So Britain is just seeking to you know, foster more imperial ambitions into Eastern Europe, and it's not going to bode very well. Historically, uh, when uh, countries have confronted Russia, it hasn't worked out very well. Do you believe that uh, the uh, tensions with Russia and the crisis in Ukraine is now going to serve as a premise for all future uh, NATO expansion in Eastern Europe? Well, NATO, you know, the, the, the whole premise of NATO is, is fraudulent to begin with. There's no reason to have NATO except to uh, perpetuate a Western uh, imperial and corporatist uh, power. But you're absolutely correct. It will be used now to, uh, it was used to destabilize and to disintegrate the Soviet Union. And now it's going to be used in an attempt to destabilize and to further disintegrate the Russian Federation. And I think the world needs to be uh, real cautious of this. But we see the Russians moving in a very positive manner with the development of the Eurasian Cooperative. We see India siding now with, with the Russians as well as China. And I think that's going to be very harmful to the Western interests because the economies in, in the West are paper tigers. Uh, they're built on mountains of, of debt and artificial economy where Russia is building something real. Thank you very much. Former U.S. Congressional staff Rodney Martin joining us on the line from L.A.